Well, good morning. Today we're going to visit with Carol McCain in Oklahoma. She's got an announcement about the Pony Bridge reopening celebration. Good morning, Route 66. Here's your host, Tim Clark. Well, good morning, Carol. Now, I understand that you have an announcement to make. Can you tell us about the Pony Bridge? Give us a little bit of history to start with. Okay, the Pony Bridge opened in approximately 1934, and it is about uh, four miles from our location here on Route 66. Um, so uh, it was closed uh, due to safety hazards, of course, and um, the Oklahoma Department of Transportation began the process of uh, allocating money, basically, to start the project, and uh, they had a groundbreaking ceremony, so I attended that. And it's been closed for, I believe, two years. So when it opens, it will have been closed that long, which did uh, disrupt some of the traffic to our park here. But um, all in all, it's worked out well. Now, tell us a little bit about the bridge. This bridge is unique for Route 66, correct? It is. It's made of pony trusses, which are the trusses that form an arch. The trusses aren't connected at the top, so they don't, like, there's no structure going across the bridge. It's all open on the top, but the structure is um, secured on the sides of the bridge by whatever, metal, iron, whatever. And um, it's uh, unique because it has those trusses. I remember counting them every time we went over it as a kid. Um, I knew they were not going to change, but it was just fun to count them, so <laughs> everybody likes that. Now, how does this compare in size to other Route 66 bridges? It's a good question, and it's almost 4,000 feet long. That is considerable. Um, it was narrow, just as the Route 66 was narrow, so one of the components of this restructure is they uh, made it four feet wider, which will help everybody feel a little more safe. Um, other things about it, it was put in because the bridge up river had burned or fallen down, I'm not sure, swept away maybe by the river. And uh, so that's how we came to have the Pony Bridge at all. Now tell our viewers the approximate location of this bridge. They may not be familiar with Oklahoma, so give us an idea where in Oklahoma approximately this bridge is located. Okay, it's about 50 miles west of Oklahoma City, and it follows the old alignment of Route 66 through El Reno, Calumet, etc. Um, then it uh, crosses from the north to the south and uh, near the town of Bridgeport. It's the most close town to, to, uh, to the bridge. Then Geary is on north of that. Hinton, Oklahoma is right along uh, I-40 as well, about five miles away. So that's where it stands. Okay. Now I'm just curious, before we get into the the reopening ceremony. Do you happen to remember this bridge as a child? Absolutely, yes, sir. Um, we would go there to have my father teach us how to swim because the river did have some deeper pools in it uh, that we could actually get in over our heads if we wanted to. It's very scary, but we did it. Um, and the bridge uh, has a road that goes down beside it. So we would take our car, truck, down beside the river bridge and go down on the sand actually of the riverbed and so we spent a lot of time down there playing games in the mud and you know exploring basically now carol i understand that you've got an exciting announcement to make yes we do uh, the pony bridge is going to be reopened on may 10th ceremony starts at three o'clock and it will include all the odot folks that have worked on it so hard also, the Route 66 Association will be there, and local, of course, people who are interested in the bridge, as we all are around here. So that will be exciting. We'll have um, food, music, and, uh, of course, the announcement itself, and walk across the bridge to reopen it. Is there a particular end that visitors should go to? Yes. Uh, you'll have to get off at exit 108 and go down Route 66 um, and then turn back to the south and um, go down the hill, Bridgeport Hill, actually. And uh, then there at the bottom, there will be a turnout where we'll all gather. And just tell us one more time the date and the time. Okay, it's May 10th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Thanks so much, Carol. I appreciate you sharing that announcement with us.
You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep getting your kicks on Route 66.